hey guys i'm gaming 95 welcome back to another video and today i'm going to be showing you that how you can make a reset button for your 1v1 so this is my 1v1 it looks pretty straightforward like it's just a 1v1 yeah so first you have to just make sure that you do the setting guys so it's very important in the settings you have to go over this place and there exactly the environmental damage just make it totally off like if you don't do the setting it won't work for you you must do it off like so many people for so many people it don't work because they don't just like, turn it off because it's very important that you turn it off and now what you have to do is that you have to just grab all the things I grabbed and then you have to just place them and then you're done so the button and a trigger and a sequencer and one more thing guys it's the the explosive device yeah so now first of all let's just place this button let's make it bigger yeah I think it's enough yeah it's enough size so now what you have to do is that just go to some other place like over here and just place the sequencer right over here make sure it's facing the in the front yeah perfect now do it the same settings like me just like that and now you have to grab the triggers Now just do the same settings like me on the triggers. When trigger transmit on channel number one. Uh, like this channel you can do like anyone is free for you. No, don't copy the channel number one like me. Just do any channel which is free for you in all of the cases. So here is channel number 2 and also copy this one, transmit FGX trigger this no matter whatever just copy it, whatever I do just copy in this case. And just do it with all of them. For me like I don't have any channel which is taken up by some other device so I'll just do the same like 4, 4, 3, 3, 1, 1. For me, it's the same. Yeah. Guys, you must cross check it. Like, there is four and there is another four. You don't want that. Yeah. No, it's not good. Just make it fight, just correct it. Yeah. And now six and six. Seven and seven. Eight and eight. And nine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just cross check that you have the same amount of channels as the number you have to put in there with the transmit X triggers. And now, one more setting in this one enable when receiving from, I mean, the start sequencer when receiving from, it should be channel number 10 or whatever channel is free. It should be just that. And now, just big button. It should also be channel number. Then. and yeah that's pretty much it guys it's very easy and now just place this explosive device over here 
and do the same settings like me explode when seeing from you should be just putting it first one two three four or whatever channel is on the triggers the same channel should be on the explosive devices it should be different like all the triggers are different so you understand I, I know you understand I hope you understand so blast radius should be five player damage zero well indestructible Use the same settings as me, just copy the settings. So one is ready. Now just put three. As many as triggers you have placed is the amount of these uh, explosive devices you must place. In the both sides I placed nine triggers so I'll just destroy one of them and now all you have to do is like it's very easy just put in one or put it like two three four So it's done, it's complete. Now, when you will start the game, it will work. So, yeah, now what you are just thinking is that why don't you show us? So, sure. One still here, one still here. Just a little bit of build. And boom! As you can see, it just destroyed it. And let's try it again. It does destroy again. Yep, again. Game. so thanks for watching guys don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and see you in the next one